What's up, you guys? It's Matt here, aka Georgia Gent. Today I'm coming to you with my scent of the day. This is Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Um, I never won this before. Today will be the first day of wearing it. Um, but I sprayed about five sprays. I'm hoping it lasts me a little while. Um, I'm probably gonna bring it with me, uh, just in case it does shoot out, or I might grab something else that I have here um, to reapply if this doesn't make it. But uh, I, I I have high hopes for it. It does smell good. Um, off the initial impression, um, but I'll give you guys a, uh, a more in-depth re uh, review on how this lasts. Alright guys, so a few hours passed, um, when I was recording that was at like 6, uh, 15, 6 20 or so this morning. Um, the Jimmy Choo Man Ice at, like, at five sprays lasted me from then until uh, uh, it projected for about an hour um, after I put it on. Um, it lasted me up to um, about 9.30, I would say, um, max. That, that, that's, when I, that's when I can still smell on my skin pretty much. There, there wasn't a lot there to really um, go on to. But, um, so, uh, initially what you get with it is you get a... a um, a good lemon, clean lemon uh, scent um, that uh, it's, it's, it's just pretty nice. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's something that uh, I can see myself putting on after the gym. Uh, something that I put on that I just want to smell good. I don't want to put on any, anything nice. Uh, not necessarily something that I, that I would wear in the office. It's something that I would uh, kind of just spritz on and have in my bag, you know. Um, just because then I can go to wherever I need to be, um, and I can shower up there, and, put, and if I want to put something, something else on, I'm not, I'm not really, you know, worried about uh, what I just washed off. Um, but th the smell is nice. It's just that I wish it could uh, um, project a little more. A little more. Um, I know that there's a, a Dior fragrance that is, uh, it's supposed to, to, you know, smell like, but um, I'm not sure which one that is exactly. It's Dior. I'm not, I'm not sure, but uh, I know it's supposed to be similar. Um, but by now it's it's gone. It is uh, it's like about twelve one now, um, but it's gone. Um, hey, I mean it's it's a de decent fragrance. If I mean it's probably it's priced a little high for for uh, for something like that. That's a it smells real good, but it's it's it, it shouldn't cost that much for something that doesn't last. It lasts. It's like something that, that shouldn't be used on skin, if that makes sense. Uh, it should be something that can be used for like, a, like an air freshener kind of thing. It just doesn't last at all. Um, I didn't put it on my shirt. I didn't put it on any fabric or anything. So um, it might it probably last a, last a little longer on, on, on clothes. But um, but on my skin, it just... And I and I put on lotion and everything, and it just... Meh. Meh. Um, that gets one of these for me. But uh, my scent... I'm putting on after lunch is this uh, Cremo Bourbon and Oak. Um, I'm pretty excited about this just because the other one did so well. Um, the scent was nice. Uh, this morning I actually put one of the, the um, blue uh, cedar and cypress on the back of my neck because uh, I was watching Mr. Chief since and he said something about where he sprays. And I, you know, I've, I've sprayed here before in the past, but I've never sprayed the back of my neck. Um, and once the, that initial loudness coming from the uh, the um, Jimmy Choo, like the first hour or so, I that's all, all I could smell was the uh, blue cedar cypress back here. All I could smell was that. I don't know how that happened, or uh, I've never experienced that, but for some reason that spot works. Um, I don't know if it's, if it's a pulse point or just it's warmer there, but um, I might do the same with this uh, just because this one I, I'm not really getting wh whistled anymore, I can, I can't smell back in my head so. Um, can't really tell you how the, it's, it's been uh, um, performing today, but I put one of these underneath. Uh, underneath. Um, I might do another one. I still have about 20 minutes left in my break, so I don't want to walk in there and be loud because this is kind of it's kind of loud, honestly. It really is um, initially. Uh, oh, but it smells nice. It smells like um, like a. Uh, it's definitely bourbony, but there's a almost like a like a light spice to it. 
uh, it kind of reminds me of, um, of the, uh, the, what's it, the Dior Home Intense that I had a little bit, but not quite as sweet, not quite as, um, the candy vibe to it, um, or like the dessert vibe, um, it's like the YSL that I had, but less powdery, uh, it, it, it's good. I think one spray is enough, though. I think one spray is enough. I might do another one, maybe. But we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on this one, too. But got something today that some of you might can recognize just from that. Uh, that's going to be fun to show you guys later on. Um, got a couple things coming in today. I look forward to showing you guys. That'll be on. That'll be on a different video. Um, I'm probably gonna shoot that one on my laptop later on. Uh, anyways.